Hi, I'm Jim Jubeck, and welcome to this week's Trend of the Week video on YouTube. Trend of the Week is consumers are skipping essentials. Um, and this is new. So what we've seen is, is on the impact of inflation, we've seen people um, moving down the price point scale. And what we're seeing, continued movement down the price point scale. But right now, it looks like people are actually sort of starting to skimp on unit purchases. Um, and one of the one of the investing fallouts of that is that maybe there's no place to hide that, you know, if you've been looking at going, well, I'll go into Target because that's a, a cheaper place to shop than, say, Nordstrom's. Uh, well, Target is now reporting negative um, sales growth, um, not negative sales, negative sales growth, uh, and Costco and Walmart are still showing positive. But as the unit sales drop, maybe even those retailers are going to start to feel some pressure. So here's what we know. Uh, in May, the inflation adjusted, and inflation adjusted is key, household spending stalled. Uh, if you didn't adjust for inflation, and retail sales numbers don't initially, um, they, so that you get the, so if things go up by 3% and inflation is running at 4%, hey, um, you know, you're still actually showing in terms of unit sales a decline, but the top line unadjusted for inflation number uh, shows an increase. Anyway, May sales, um, May household spending, if you adjusted for inflation, essentially flat. Um, now, the most recent numbers that we've seen look at unit sales, um, and that, that doesn't require an adjustment for inflation one way or another. But unit sales of things like toothpaste, laundry detergent, toilet paper. Uh, these are consumer essentials uh, and usually a good place to hide in a recession. Uh, but right now with the economy slowing and we're not in a recession, the economy slowing and inflation still running at 3% or core inflation running at 4% or better. And we'll know more after... Um, this most recent uh, CPI report due on Wednesday the the 12th. Uh, anyway, so unit sales of toothpaste, laundry detergent, toilet paper down 3 to 4 percent in the 52 weeks through June 24th. That's a sign that consumers are really cutting back on spending. And this is all before um, consumer incomes take a big hit with the resumption of student loan debt payments uh, in October. So uh, the advice, as in Hill Street Blues, is be careful out there. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. That way you get a notification when we do the next one. We're doing about three a week, not always on the same day. Uh, if you want, uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel is free. Uh, speaking of free, uh, you can get my fr free posts to a day or so, uh, three portfolios on jubeckpicks.com, my paid subscription site, which has six portfolios instead of three and more posts each day, including some for more volatility and some more for uh, options, which are good plays in a, in a kind of eh, market. Uh, you go to my paid site, that's jubeckam.com. Uh, you'll find links to those down below. Right now, we're running a 50% off sale on the paid site. Uh, in honor of the 50th anniversary of 50th birthday of my mustache this week. Uh, so you can get a subscription for $99 instead of $199. Uh, that's for a few more days. So please uh, beat inflation uh, over the head with a 50% uh, cut in prices for a subscription to my Jubeck AM uh, site and get all the portfolios and everything I write every day. Thanks very much for watching.